email show. I'm your host, Steph Hendel. Today, I am on a topic about if you're somebody who wants to lose weight, um, then I have your number one thing that you want to do. You got to start by doing this specific thing. I'm going to talk to you about what's worked for me, what's worked with my hundreds of clients, and what you can really do to get moving forward right away and start seeing results immediately. Sound good? Okay, so let's get started. I'm going to go on and just share this in my Body Built by Love family group. If you're not a member of that group, go on over there and um, request access. I'll go in there. I'll approve you. And it's just an amazing group. I post in it every single day. And it's always really high vibe, um, really good tips, and uh, very lots of... Um, engagement within that group of really good people who are super excited about taking their bodies, their lives, and their health to the next level, uh, which is so fun. It's just good to surround yourself with people who have similar goals because then you can reach those goals faster when you do that. So I'm just going in here to share it. I'm saying we're live. Bring your questions. And that reminds me that if you are watching right now, um, if you have any questions, type them in at any point. Um, I will either answer them during our live show today or I will get to them um, at the end before we um, sign off. So, okay, posted, we're good to go. Okay, so let's get into our topic. Um, number one, what is your biggest struggle when you are trying to lose weight? I know losing weight is a thing that um, almost everybody wants to do, whether it's five pounds or it's 30 pounds or 100 pounds. Um, everybody wants to lose some weight. And for everybody, they feel that they have a reason why it's so hard, um, why it's such a struggle. So I want to hear from you and I want to know what is the reason why you feel that it's really hard and it's really challenging for you to actually lose weight. And type that in the comments below. And as always, say hello. Um, let us know where you're watching from. Where in the world are you? Like what state? What country? Um, it's big family here. Um, anytime you tune into a broadcast with me or anything, hi Audra, anytime you tune in with me or anything that has to do with the fit and fearless female or body built by love or anything, it's just know it's going to be very inclusive. It's going to be like a little family and that I'm going to be here to support you and I just really care about you reaching your goals. So um, I want to have conversation and I want to hear everybody interacting with each other and getting to know each other. It's really fun and um, the people who are in the Body Built by Love family private group, um, they're interconnected and everybody's chatting and finding friendships and deeper, deeper, deeper in the courses like the Body Built by Love course is a great place to find your go-to friends with similar vibes and intentions and um, just holding each other to a really good place of positivity instead of people who are putting you down because I know that happens a lot when it comes to weight loss and eating healthier and living a healthier lifestyle there's a lot of people who want to be like why are you eating that or why did you bring that in why don't are you too good to eat our food now you know and they start telling you these things that kind of get in your head so it's good to be surrounded with people who are like oh you made that healthy choice awesome that inspired me thanks you know and we're just feeding off good energy so Audra I tried a million times my belief um, then I saw the truth today I never tried it with love oh my gosh yes Audra that's so good um, that is really the key component of body built by love is you come from a space of loving yourself you come from a space of um, feeling really good about all your decisions. You come from a space of if you mess up, it's not a big deal. You don't beat yourself up. So the main uh, culprits here would be like shame, guilt, judgment, uh, beating yourself up, getting really frustrated at your decisions, thinking you're not strong enough or smart enough or good enough for it to work for you. And a lot of people experience the feeling of like um, they think it's going to work for other people but not for them. And all these things are just beliefs. And you're literally one limiting belief away from everything that you want. And we keep ourselves in these prisons a lot of times of our beliefs, our negative beliefs that say we can't have something because we learned it at an early age or somebody had, we had a traumatic experience that cemented it in our brains that this is how it is about 
um, health and this is how it is about food. I know for me personally, for a really, really, really long time, the mindset and the theory that kept playing over in my head was like, calories in, calories out. And if I ate something bad, I would beat myself up so much about it. Like, it would be on my mind the rest of the day. I'd go to bed guilting myself, like, why did you do that? I can't believe you like made that decision. Now you're not gonna get to your goals. And then I'd wake up in the morning and I'd be like, I can't believe I made that that decision. And then it just weighed heavy on me for the day, the week, the year, the years. And it just lingers. So um, I get what that's like. I get what it's like to come from that space. And I come to you from the other side of the tracks where it is so much better and so much more fulfilling and so much more awesome to be able to just not have any guilt with that, not have the judgment, not have the shame, not have the fears, and to just come from this loving space and just love yourself no matter what you do, no matter what decisions you make. And that's actually a great segue, thanks for saying that, Audra. Um, it's a great segue into what we're gonna talk about today. So I'm just gonna read um, one or two more comments. Okay, perfect. Oh, what did I just do? This is pretty cool. Oh, I'm like inviting people. Okay, oh so good, let go of not feeling like you're enough. Yes, thanks Molly, love that. Um, so, one final thing before we jump right into the topic. Share this video. So go hit the share button right here and share it on your page so more people can join in and more people can watch. It's really fun to build a community and a family. And a lot of times if you wanna get healthier and you wanna live a healthier lifestyle, the best thing you can do is to build a context with the people that you love. So you're all speaking the same language and hearing the same information about it and you can support each other. Because a lot of times when you go and you do something healthier, there's no context for the other people around you. So they're kind of just like, this person that I thought I knew is acting really different and they're talking really different and they're doing things really different, it confuses them. So when you get other people on the same page with you and they're understanding why you're saying what you're saying, why you're doing what you're doing, why you're making the changes you're making, then they're like on board. They're like, cool, I'm with you, I'm supporting you, which is the best. So make sure you do that. Um, share this video on your page right now just so we can bring more good people, friends and family in. We know we always attract the best people. Okay, so Molly says, the other side is so much more fulfilling. I love that program teaches us how to love who we are first. Yes, me too, Molly. It's amazing. Um, loving yourself first really is the key. So if what you want to do is lose some weight, whether it's 5 pounds, 30 pounds, 100 pounds, or more, the first baby step that you need to take is a very simple step is to start thinking differently. Start changing your perception. And perception is a really um, amazing word. Perception and expectation. And you wanna start expecting good things to happen to you. You wanna start expecting the result that you want to come. And once you start expecting it, then you are able to create it. So we've all done something in the past, like let me know, like type it in if you have a story or um, something that happened to you recently or something you can think about you've been thinking about that had the, when <laughs> I'm confusing myself <laughs> sometimes I get so excited when I get on my like rants that I lose track okay so if you've had something like this happen type it in and I would love to hear your own personal story of this but we've all had an experience where we've been doing something and as we are moving forward and taking this step we start to like see the path in front of us and we want it, um, but it's maybe something we haven't had. And it seems like it's not that hard to wrap your head around getting it. So you're like, okay, I want this thing. And then you start thinking about it. And then all of a sudden, all the resources you need to get that thing just come to you. And it's like easy, you know? It almost feels like that was almost too easy. And um, I'll give you a like really random example. One time, I never forget this. Um, one time I was at a grocery store in Santa Monica and I thought it might be a vegan grocery store and I'm with my fiance, Josh, and I look at him and I go, I, Josh, I just really want some organic grass-fed beef right now. And literally off the shelf falls, like I, I just hear this smack on the ground and I look over and it is a pound of organic grass-fed beef. And if that wasn't like being given the resources, and the thing about that was I had no resistance to it, right? I wasn't like, well, I just, I don't know if 
if um if somebody's gonna if I feel worthy of having grass fed beef and I don't know if I feel like deserving of having it or all the things that we tell ourselves about food and our bodies and weight loss and all those things I didn't have any of that there was no resistance so I was just like yeah I just really love some boom fell right on the ground and so that's a big example but this can happen a million different ways but it came from like a feeling of putting it out there and changing my perception, um, shifting how I feel about things, and asking for what I wanted. So the perceptions shift and the perspective shift that you really need to do here. Anybody who's struggling with their weight, they have a, a lot of doubt about why it's not possible for them. They doubt that it could really happen or they doubt that it could really work. If you didn't doubt, you'd already have it. So you've seen the people who they're just like, I'm gonna lose some weight. They go do their thing and then they've lost weight and you're like, what, it was so easy for you, why is it so hard for me? It's because you have doubt and you've built up doubt over time. Not a bad thing, doubt's fine. It's okay to have doubt. It's very um, actually simple for you to remove doubt. It's a process though. So there's certain steps that you take and little things that you do consistently that take doubt to faith. And once you're in the faith zone, anything is possible. I can give you a lot of amazing examples from my Body Built by Love course, which teaches faith in weight loss, faith about bodies that you love, faith about health and um, faith about things working. So all these women have done the courses and they're always, always, always writing in and just saying, once I started believing it was possible, that's when it started working for me. Because a lot of people say, it can't be that easy, right? That's the number one thing about weight loss is it can't be that easy. It's got to be hard, right? Because society has taught us that weight loss is hard. And I can guarantee you that the people who um, lost weight quickly and easily um, without any struggle, they didn't think it was going to be hard for them. They thought it was going to be easy, which is why I'm constantly getting you to change your perception and um, look at something in a different way. So that's why taking a lot of the resistance away from food, like the food guilt that I used to have where I'd beat myself up about eating a certain thing, when you remove that and you replace it with just like you eat something that's quote unquote unhealthy for you and you just go, you know what? That's gonna make my body better, healthier, stronger, you know, more amazing. And when it gets to that space, then you're like, Oh, okay, so your body can respond and the weight can come off or with workouts. I'm constantly getting people to do workouts that they feel are fun. You got to do a workout that you feel is really fun because in that way, you're going to feel good about it. You're going to release resistance. You're going to be enjoying yourself. And when you're in that state, things can happen for you. You can believe um, things can happen and you can really be bringing the things that you want to you. You got to be in that state of release and receiving. So a lot of us are just in resistance. So there's no releasing, there's no receiving because it's all resistance, like somebody digging their feet into the ground, just like this, like, no, and somebody's pulling them and they're just trying to like, you know, push back. Think about that. That's essentially, if you're trying to lose weight and you're not doing it, you're sticking your heels into the ground in some way and pushing back and you're resisting because some part of you is saying, I don't deserve it. I'm not worth it. Um, it might work for other people, but it doesn't work for me. Um, I'm not good enough. All these different things. Or like, um, if I were to if I were to lose weight, then that would mean things work out for me. A lot of people have a self-defeating thought where they think that things don't work out for them. So then they keep showing themselves examples. Uh, they keep creating examples in their life of things not working out. Um, so your mind is subconsciously working <laughs> constantly and it's constantly doing these things that are distracting you um, they're distracting you from your goals and a lot of times people are just so confused and so frustrated I hate to see that because um, it doesn't have to be frustrating it doesn't have to be that hard um, but I see people getting really frustrated about it because their subconscious is playing out a story and they're not even realizing it like their subconscious is like telling them that it's not okay to lose weight or it's not okay to be healthy or whatever. Um, and then they're just like, why isn't it working? You know, there must be something wrong with me. And then that thought comes in place too. I can't tell you how many times in my life I have had the thought um, that it there must be something wrong with me. And honestly, it still pops up for me. And now these days I can shift 
back from that into a good place, like really fast and be like, that's actually a lie. But um, back when it was like really affecting me all the time, um, I would really believe it and it would, I would hang on to it and it'd linger. So as you can imagine, if you feel like that, um, there must be something wrong with me, then you're going to keep creating your subconsciously, obviously not consciously, you're going to subconsciously keep creating scenarios where you're not, you're, where you're following that story and creating more and more and more of that for you. So you got to break the story, create a new identity, create a new you, um, create a new mindset and a new perception and start viewing things differently. So that, my friends, is the number one thing that you must, must, must do if you're going to lose some weight. Otherwise, you're just going to keep staying on the hamster wheel. And I hate when women stay on the hamster wheel because it's just painful. It's just painful. I've been on the hamster wheel. <laughs> I was on it for a long time and it sucks. Um, so you're just going to keep circling around and around and around. You'll just keep trying a new workout and then sabotaging. You just keep trying a new diet and sabotaging. You just keep trying to do this and sabotaging. You say, I'm doing everything right. Why isn't it working? The key here is you got to change your mind. You got to change your mind first. And once you change your mind, the body follows. The body and the weight loss actually becomes very, very simple. Almost hard to believe how simple it becomes. And it's an easy thing to do. It's easy to shift your, shift your perception. And honestly, in the Body Built by Love family private group, I'm constantly putting up posts to remind you about how to shift your perception, especially about your body, especially about weight loss, especially about health. So if you feel like you need extra support around that, um, just go, uh, go whatever it's called, like or subscribe or go friend that private group. And um, you'll get a lot of support around that. And then, also, another thing that I want to let you know about is all through May I've been doing this thing called the Month of Mindset Maintenance. And it's text that people are receiving every single day with perception shifts about food, health, and their bodies, and weight loss. So, if you think that sounds really interesting and that sounds like something that would really help you, then reach out to me because I'm going to do it again next month. It's been such a success this month that I'm going to be doing it again for the month of June. So, if you want to jump in for June, we can do that. Um, and I'll send you all the details and information on how to do that. Molly says, it's okay, you're rocking it. I can feel your passion. Thanks, girl. I love the support. I appreciate that. Uh, yes, this has happened to me. Some of my goals have come to me so easily once I got out of my own way, right? That's how it always happens. You just got to shift out of that, shift out of that, shift out of that, and um, just allow yourself to succeed. I think that's really the biggest thing I see with women. Um, and in my own life's journey and story too, was so many people just feeling like they're afraid of their greatness. And that's that Marianne Williams... Williamson quote where she says um, our greatest fear is not that we're inadequate our greatest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure and it really taps into the fact that um, deep down we all know that we're extremely powerful and can be extremely successful and can have it all um, but we're afraid of it that is the biggest fear but it doesn't have to be when we shift our perception and go this is me I deserve this just like anybody else in this planet we are all born with the same birthright of health we're all born with the same birthright of happiness of abundance of joy and when it comes from that place you're just like okay no I do I expect that good stuff to happen for me and if you need help reprogramming that and getting your mind to think in that new way just reach out I have a million different avenues that you can go down to achieve that to find what's right for you so private message is always best for that break the story create a new you boo yeah love it what's the name of the group stuff okay so the group name is body built by love family and that is a private group so yay please join me in there also if you're not following me on instagram make sure you do that it's my name steph hendel i keep it simple it's the same on every social media and Instagram, I have a lot of good Insta stories, and um, I'm putting up some very empowering posts. I put up different stuff than I do on Facebook. I like to bury it, move it all around. And YouTube, you can catch all of the Fit and Fearless female shows that we've previously aired up on YouTube.com backslash Steph Hendel. And if you are interested in, oh, one final thing, yeah. So if you're interested in coming on the retreat in Zion National Park, it's on June 9th and 10th. We have one spot left, so it could be you. If you're saying, oh, that's me, um, then private message me about that.
we're going to be doing hikes, yoga, meditation, um, journaling. We are going to be doing workouts and cooking healthy food and all of the most amazing breakthrough things. So a lot of retraining the brain. I'm going to have you set little mini goals of manifestations that you're going to see come to life. And then one big manifestation goal that you'll see happen for you, which is going to just show you what's possible for you when you get your mind in the right space. So it's going to be really epic. It's going to be so much fun. And the last time I went to Zion National Park, I ended up surprise getting engaged to my fiance Josh so I can't wait to see what kind of magic unfolds for everybody when we go there. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome. Woohoo! Yay! Thanks for typing the name of the page on there Molly. That's awesome. Um, how do we sign up for the Mindset Mastery Month? Yes! Okay guys, thank you so much! I'm so happy um, all of you are here. I'm always here to support you and love you. I see the highest and best in you and I will do whatever it takes to make sure that you live that and you feel the most joy and happiness and health and abundance and love possible. Um, that's really my mission. That's why I'm here. So that's why I make these videos every Monday at 3 p.m. And it's why I put up tons of posts and put a lot of energy and, and love. And I, I think about my posts as artwork, honestly. Um, so it's the reason I do that is because I know when I write it, it's going to help somebody live a better, healthier life. And they'll know that I love them and care about them. So if that's you, I love you and I care about you. So... Yay! Thanks for being a part of the family. I will see you next Monday at 3 p.m. I'm going to be in Pennsylvania, back visiting my family, my mom and dad, so you might see a guest appearance from them. I don't know. Maybe, maybe. Type in your questions and let me know if you um, have any topics that you want me to cover in, in uh, future videos. Love you. Have a great day. Know that you are so worthy of weight loss and having a healthy body and that it's all coming and happening for you now.